Hello friends, this is Shubham and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this video we will be discussing on uh, object detection on images using YOLO that is the you only look once algorithm. So let's start. So we know that object detection is becoming the fascinating field of application and research in computer vision thanks to the faster computing power and advanced algorithm that we are making computers uh, understand like humans by using images and videos. So in this video we will see how OpenCV and Python we can uh, detect uh, object in an image by applying most popular or you can say the state of the art algorithm that is the YOLO you, you only look once algorithm. So uh, first we can uh, see on the screen that uh, I have opened one uh, archive uh, page where you can uh, read about the research paper that is wrote on you only look once algorithm. I will be giving you all the links on the description of this video. You can check out from there. So we know that uh, YOLO is a state of the art real time object detection algorithm and uh, uh, you will be surprised to know that on Titan X uh, that is a graphics card it processes images at 30 frames per second and has a MAP of 57.9% on Coco test set that is the MS Coco data set okay and what is MAP and all we will be discussing uh, in the later part of the video YOLO has uh, like uh, several advantages over classifier based systems it uh, looks at the whole image at test time so its predictions are informed by global context in the image uh, it also like makes predictions with the single network evaluation like unlike uh, systems like RCNN which require thousands of single image. This makes it extremely fast more than like 10 uh, like thousand X faster than RCNN and hundred X faster than fast RCNN. So what is the problem in hand? So the problem statement is given an input image the output will be a bounding box and a label. So they can be like uh, multiple objects in an image, right? So most probably what, what the output will look like is a series of box coordinates, object score, and that is uh, the object is present or not. It can be one zero and uh, the class course, like which class it belongs to. Say if, if there are like uh, five classes, then it will give scores uh, respective of that, okay? So here in this video, we will be using a darknet architecture that is pre-trained on Microsoft Coco dataset, MS Coco, which uh, can identify 80 categories. Okay, so uh, here I would like to show you a um, repository from which you can download weights and CFG of the pre-trained model. Uh, here it is. I'll give you the link of this repository in the description of this video also. So you can look into this, okay? So this is the CFG configuration file of this uh, darknet architecture. Okay, as you can see, uh, this is the 80, you know, categories that the uh, YOLO V3 can uh, detect because it has been pre-trained on uh, the MS Coco dataset. So, okay, let's uh, see the code, okay, here. So the first step will be importing the CV2 and NumPy libraries as we all know. And then here you can see, after that, what we'll do is um, we'll be loading the YOLO v3 weights and YOLO v3.cfg. These files I was telling that you can download it from this uh, GitHub repository. Okay, so here you can see that these are the uh, coco.names. This coco.names file will be used here. Okay, uh, here with open here. Now you can see you can print the classes here and you can see that there are 80 classes here, and here also. Uh, these weights and CFGs, I'll provide you the link and you can download it from there. Okay, these are the pre trained weights on MS Coco dataset. Okay, so the step two will be uh, we will define the output layers because that's where we'll be defining what image is detected by using uh, these functions net.get unconnected out layers and net.get layer names. So let's see what they uh, output right so uh, net dot get layer names so you will get the layer names uh, as you can see below okay so here you can see I've given a description like get unconnected out layers this will give you the names of the unconnected output layers which are essentially the last layers of the networks so here you can see if you go down you can see okay uh, 
see the dead uh, uh, net dot get uncorrected outlets okay if you print this you can see 200 227 and 254 so this is the 254 uh, fourth uh, lines you can see this is yellow 106 okay again if you go to 227 you can see again a same thing called yolo uh, 94 in a similar way you can see in the 20 uh, sorry 200th position also okay so uh, hmm. what we do is uh, we run a forward pass of the network to, to get the output from the output layers uh, as you will see in the next part of the video in the next uh, part of the code okay this is the function that does that so let's see uh, using this you can uh, just fetch out the output layers that is yellow 82 yellow uh, uh, 94 and yellow 106 as you as you already saw here okay uh, yellow 106 yellow 94 up somewhere and yolo 82 will be there okay so yeah so we can demo uh, image okay so let me run the entire thing again so that it is easier for us to follow okay so let's go right okay so let's I have an image here okay so we'll be displaying this image and let's see what it is um, okay, so here is the image. It's a couple of cars, traffic signals, and a person here. So what our what we would like in our algorithm is that the uh, YOLO will detect the entire thing. Like uh, it will detect the cars, it will detect the uh, person, it will detect the uh, traffic lights. It will. It, uh, these are the objects that we want to detect. Okay. So sure. So let's uh, uh, proceed. Okay. So. Uh, this is the original image from where we want to detect many as, as many uh, objects as possible but we cannot give the image directly to the algorithm and we have to make uh, we have to convert it right see there are two types of uh, there are actually three yeah, YOLO v3 algorithms as you, I'll show you okay see there is YOLO v3 320 YOLO v3 416 YOLO v3 608 so these are the image shapes okay like 320 cross 320 cross uh, 3 that is RGB for 416, there will be 416, 416, 3, 608, it will be 608 cross 608 cross 3. So we will be using YOLO V3 416 for uh, this video, okay? So uh, we will be converting it using this function called cv.dnn.blob from image. And uh, these, these are the parameters, uh, as I have mentioned, you can pass it to this function, image, scale, size, and mean. So this is a scaling factor you do okay uh, the scale factor 1 by 255 to scale the pixel between 0 and 1 this is the image size that you uh, input size that you uh, you have to mention it here swap rb uh, this parameter is for like um, uh, from rgb to bgr that conversion in cv2 okay okay so uh, if you do this then uh, 0 0.00392 is nothing but 1 by 255 okay and um, yeah so uh, this 0, 0, 0 in between is the mean subtraction from layers so uh, we are keeping it as zero from for now okay so as we saw this is the forward pass we are doing of the output layers as we have mentioned in the above part of the video okay uh, in this part then we run the forward pass to the network and get the output from the output layers as you see in this part okay so this is uh, being described here okay let's me run the code again okay so these are the outs okay the output from this uh, up to the forward pass uh, so what we'll do is now let's evaluate uh, the outs by showing information on the screen okay mainly uh, what we will be trying to predict the uh, confidence meaning how confident the algorithm is when it predicts some object for this we will loop through the uh, outs like you can see here we will loop through the outs first get all the scores for each out in outs this one okay we'll find the scores then get the class id that has the highest score amongst them and then assign the confidence value to the scores by passing the class id here so we'll be uh, so we'll getting uh, getting the confidence uh, like how much confident you are that you uh, that the algorithm is saying that it belong that belongs to some that object belongs to some this uh, xyz class okay so this is the part of the code which uh, I just explained. Next what we'll do is we will uh, assign a confidence level say a threshold of 0 0.5 like anything above 0 0.5 would mean object has been detected okay. 
uh, okay so this is that part and this is uh, is for like uh, we also want a center coordinates width and height of the object detected okay so we will use the height and width which has been previously saved while loading the image what we are, which we have loaded uh, before right see here uh, we have extracted the height width and channels from the image dot shape like the input image so we'll be using it here and uh, we will also draw a circle of thickness um, or two at center of the object just to keep uh, just for the sake of proof that the object has been detected further uh, let's draw a rectangle around okay this is the part where we will draw a rectangle uh, around the detected object by using the center x center y width and uh, using this coordinates which you have detected before okay and this is the part of the code that you, we can you can see here so as you can see here the these are the class ids these are the objects which have been detected and this is the confidence code that you can see here as i printed the same thing here okay so i think i have not run this code let's do it yeah so we'll get the class ids from here so yeah so pretty much uh, easy till here okay um like uh, here we can see that um, there can be multiple occurrences okay so there might be cases that multiple times the same object might be detected like you can see a object here and then uh, multiple bounding box surrounding that same object okay so uh, we want we don't want that okay so what we will be using is we will use non maxima suppression or non max suppression in short that will eliminate the boxes by using some threshold value any box having iou value less than the 0 0.6 which i have mentioned in our code here okay this one uh, anything greater than that uh, will be removed uh, so what is iou iou is intersection over union uh, as you can see in this image I, it is the area of overlap divided by the area of union so uh, say the lower the upper one is the the ground truth of the bounding box and coordinates and this is the the predicted bounding box so this is the iou is the performance matrix metric that is being used here in yolo and uh, it is the intersection over union so as you can see the formula it ranges between anything like uh, the ideal case will be one okay so it perfectly overlaps it and the worst case will be zero so uh what but this is just for a single box okay Con we have to convert it into binary classification say we have classes like chair person cars then uh, traffic lights we have these uh, many classes so say suppose i am taking uh, one class say chair we have to compute the average precision okay so uh, for this one so there is a thing called aupr curve like this we, are, we will get a curve okay so we have to draw this curve this ranges between 0 and 1 so after that what we will do we will find the average precision that is the area under the aupr curve this is called the aupr curve and then we will find out the mean average precision that is the map which was i was talking about in the beginning like the yolo uh, v3 algorithm uh, with 608 um, MAP 608 uh, input image size this one this part has got a MAP of 57.9 percent on uh, coco uh, test set okay so yeah so we have to find out the MAP there is a mean across all the classes so ex say for example MAP 0 0.5 so what does it mean it means for converting rectangle box problem to binary classification we are using IOU of 0 0.5 uh, in this one okay so uh, in the same way let's come back to uh, where we left like the nms thing okay so you can see the form uh, like the uh, function definition of nms boxes uh, this, you have to provide the boxes the box coordinates the uh, confidence uh, confidences and the score threshold and the iou threshold so this part is the iou threshold anything uh, less than the 0 0.6 which you have mentioned will be removed okay so let's try it out and these are just the fonts and all like if, if you want to show something like the name like if you want to show the it is, the person has been detected the traffic license has been detected the name so this is the font style of that one which we want to detect using the open cv you have to just embed it in the images okay so yeah we're pretty much done and we will be displaying the results out okay so let's learn the code as you can see here that it has successfully detected person car 
see we have two cars right so one car and the uh, back side you see another car so two cars perfectly directed we have traffic lights we have these traffic lights and their car and another traffic light there are two cars over here also as you can see so yeah pretty much we have uh, got our work done uh, like uh, detecting uh, objects in an image so most probably in the next uh, video we will be uh, covering uh, like the object detection in videos uh, in my next video okay so uh, till then i think you have understood the code if you have any doubts you can uh, always comment in my youtube channel um, till then uh, please uh, like subscribe and also comment uh, if you like this video and uh, yeah you can suggest me of other top topics that you want me to cover and anyways we will be covering the video part of it like this is uh, done on the images we will part, uh, do a video like we will run a video and it will automatically detect the objects in that video and in the next to next video we will see uh, maybe in the I can include it in the next video also we will see on real time like we will use a, our webcam to find out what are the objects it has detected okay so till then bye bye